Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jay. And for this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a brand new Google project. So before we begin, you will need a Google account to uh, create a new project. If you don't have an account, you can go to console.cloud.google.com and just register for a new account. If you are new to the Google Cloud platform and when you first are logging, this is probably the page that is going to see, just a blank page, but asking you to select a project. On the top, there's a drop down. Within this drop down, uh, it shows all the projects that are currently uh, are available within your account. And I'm going to create a new project by selecting new project. So by default, Google is going to give you uh, a number of projects that you can create. And I know uh, for new users, I think the project limit is five. And since I've been using, since I have this account for a while, so Google actually increased my project limits, but I'm not sure. So I might have to double check. And next you want to give a project name. So the project has to be, the project name has to be unique and it's not being used by uh, other projects. So I will assign my project name to maybe project XYZ. And next click on create. And once the project is created, and make sure that the project is select on the top. So your project is basically was kind of like a container. Uh, basically store all the uh, settings and configuration of all the API services. And every time you need to use the API, so you need to go to your project and go to, uh, so go to the library and you want to enable the API service that you want to use within this project. So let's say I want to, uh, within my project XYZ uh, project, I want to enable my Google Sheet API. So I'll search for Google Sheets. And click on the API service that you want to enable. And click on enable to enable the Google Sheet API. All right now you just enable the Google Sheets API, and so now when you create an application like a web application or desktop application that uh, you want to integrate with Google Sheets API, now you can uh, basically go to the API and the services, and you can create a credential. So you have three different types of credential: API key, OR client ID, and the service account key. The service account key uh, credential is used with uh, machine learning and AI products like Vision AI, Google Translation, uh, Video Vision, all those type of services. And for API key and the OR client ID credentials, so those two are, are used for more general API services like Google Sheets, uh, Gmail, uh, YouTube API, Google Tasks, Google Doc, uh, AdWords, and etc. Generally, I will choose the OR client ID just because with all our client ID credential type, you have more flexibilities uh, to configure uh, the permissions. And as well as I know for some of the APIs, uh, they require to use the all our client ID credential uh, to access some of the methods. And the API keys, uh, so it basically is the your uh, client token and your client secret. So it's kind of like the username and password. In general, if you are building something uh, for yourself, then the API key will be the best way to go. Just because when you use API key to connect to the API, there's not a lot of uh, configuration that is required. But I'm going to choose OAuth client ID uh, credential type. With your first uh, OAuth client uh, ID, so you want to first of all configure the consent screen. The consent screen is basically the page that a user will see in terms of uh, the app information. So here gives our application name. So here I'll just type uh, app XYZ. And you have the option to provide a logo, but I'm going to skip the logo. And you want to provide a support email. So for the scopes, if you already know the scopes that you'll be using, then you can add the scope. But I personally prefer to provide the scopes within my code. 
So I'm going to skip uh, providing the scope. If you are building a web application, then you want to provide your domain name as well as the, the home page link that uh, a user is going to see in, uh, for the uh, consent screen. And as well as a privacy policy link in terms of a uh, service link. But to make things simple, all you need to provide is the application name and uh, the email address and that's it. Now click on save. And once the consent screen is uh, created, now we can go ahead and choose our application type. I'm going to choose other. For the application type, I'm going to name my application uh, automation script. So this application type is also your OR client ID uh, name. So if I click on create, and click on OK. So here, uh, this automation script is actually my OR client ID uh, credential. And I can download uh, my credential information as a JSON file by clicking this download JSON uh, icon and save this JSON file to my local drive. All right, guys. So this is everything for this tutorial. If you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.